Hey, welcome back. It's been a while since I put a video up. Um, as you can see behind me here, I've got some engine work going on. But it's not only an engine, it's a whole engine conversion. So on my airplane, this is a P172D. It originally had 175 horse Continental GO300, which was a gear drive 300 cubic inch. Rated at 175 horse. And... Uh, we're needing some engine work, and we decided just to go along with a brand new engine. So this new engine is a Continental IO370. So it's a four-cylinder, opposed four-cylinder, 370 cubic inch with fuel injection. Right here is part of the fuel injection system. That's the fuel servo. Cold air intake right here off the nose. It This particular um, airplane, the engine, will have a constant speed propeller. I'm um, going to be pairing the, the Hartzell Trailblazer 80-inch um, propeller will be going on it. Um, so they're calling this uh, their prime engine. Uh, manifold pressure coming off, coming off of here. Um, I've got a uh, Steve's Aircraft gasolator coming into a boost pump. And then it's hitting the mechanical pump back there. On the other side of the mechanical pump, I am using the EDM 930 engine monitor system. So as the gas line comes over here, fuel pressure is coming off of here up to the firewall. Fuel comes around through here. This uh, The fuel flow transducer is in here. Runs down around to the fuel flow. Or to the fuel servo, I mean. And um, oil cooler mounted here. There'll be um, a 4-inch hose coming down and wrapping right into that. I think I'm going to be putting the battery right up here. 12-volt battery. Mounting that on the firewall right now, it's in behind the seats. So just thought I'd show a little bit here um, partway through the install. This is all uh, EGT and CHT. Those leads uh, have to get hooked up yet. So got a ways to go, that's for sure, but that's where I'm at right now. Exhaust is off yet. Gonna wrap things up here and put the exhaust on last just to try to not have as much stuff to get around. So looking forward to the extra horsepower, another 20 horsepower, 175 horse. This one's rated at 100, 195 horse. Um, so we'll see, hopefully she performs better than the old Continental from 1963, so we'll see.